a warm good morning to all welcome to today's class today we will learn about force and types of forces force what is a force when we push or pull an object the object moves the push and the pull that we apply on the object is known as force forces can be divided into two types based on how the force is applied on an object the two types of forces are contact force and non contact force so what is a contact force contact means touch so when the objects actually touch each other it is known as contact force when we touch an object the force that occurs there is called as contact force non contact force it means when objects do not touch each other there will be a force acting on the object that is known as non contact forces the two types of forces that is contact and non contact forces are further divided into three types so examples of contact forces are muscular force mechanical force and frictional force and examples of non contact forces are magnetic force electrostatic force and gravitational force let us study each forces in detail muscular force the force applied by humans or animals using parts of the body is called muscular force the force that is applied using machines is called mechanical force muscular and mechanical forces are contact forces look at the picture this force is called muscular force the force applied by humans or animals using parts of the body is called muscular force machines are used to do many tasks in factories offices and homes the force that is applied using machines is called mechanical force what is friction or frictional force friction opposes motion it causes an object that moves along a surface to slow down and eventually stop suppose if we roll a ball along the ground it moves for some time and then it stops the reason is that there is a force acting in the opposite direction of the movement of the ball so the ball comes to a rest there is a friction that occurs between the tires and the road so friction is a force that opposes motion between two surfaces sticking or touching together we are able to walk on the road because of friction we are able to write because of friction we are able to hold the things because of friction now let's learn the type of non contact forces magnetic force electrostatic force and gravitational force gravitational force is a non contact force the force applied by the earth to pull all objects towards itself is called gravitational force or gravity gravity gives objects weight the more the mass of an object the more is the gravity that acts on it that makes it 
heavier example we have seen apple falling from a tree all the objects that goes up comes down to the earth the earth pulls everything towards itself this force is called gravity it is because of gravity that any object that is thrown upwards goes slower and slower then stops and then starts coming down magnetic force the force by which a magnet attracts certain things towards itself is called the magnetic force depending on which poles are together magnets can attract or repel magnetism is a non contact force electrostatic force static electricity is created when we rub some objects with certain things the force of static electricity is called static electric force or electrostatic force it is also a non contact force you can create static electricity when you rub the balloon with the hair the balloon attracts the pieces of paper on the table this force of static electricity of attracted the pieces of paper now let's see a video on effects of force and define force based on it effects of force force produces effects on shape motion direction and speed effect on shape take a balloon filled with air and press it its shape changes a metal rod bends on being given a few hammer blows from this we can understand that force can make a change in shape effect on motion a force can make a body move and can stop a moving body for example when we kick a football it moves through the ground but when we catch it it stops its motion effect on direction a hockey player strikes the running ball to change its direction from this we can understand that a force can change the direction of a moving body effect on speed a force can also change the speed of a moving body for example when you're pedaling a bicycle if someone pushes you from behind or pulls you back speed of the cycle changes let us now define force force is the push or pull which can make a body move stop a moving body change the direction of motion of a body and change the speed of a moving body